Hi, this is Michelle Benjamin from the SIJE Singapore International Jewelry Expo 2022. I just wanted to do a special thank you for the Global NY, ESD, CNY, New York State, who sponsored me for this particular event. I've always been interested in what's going on in the galleries, uh, seeing what art shows are on. And in this case, I thought this would be a good introduction of my products to promote overseas for export purposes. All my themes are nature inspired and I promote women's empowerment and wildlife conservation. Most recently, I started to create 3D sculpture and art as well. I'm a member of Pictor Gallery in Chelsea, New York City. And my jewelry is made in sterling silver, gold, brass, and bronze. And it has special 18 karat gold plating at the micron level. It's very high finish, and I have it specially produced in the jewelry district. So I actually have two styles. One is a 3D iteration in the round of the full figure of the animal. And the second is that I have a flat piece that's cut out and there, there's negative space where the sun comes through and you see the air and light coming through the piece. Silver is very popular. The prices have gone up in terms of making the silver, but it's very popular in the fashion industry as well because there's so much versatility and it's a very soft metal. So it can be shaped very easily and you can make almost any form out of it. Some of the pieces that I've begun to explore and create are animal forms in 3D. So I've most recently started using Blender within the past year or two actually. With my art background, I always think about the space that it takes up in the round. Jewelry and art are very much related, so it should look very nice no matter what angle you're looking at it. In this case, I like to put a little clasp on it so it can be added and removed uh, for necklaces and bracelets. We had special animals that were featured for the wildlife conservation, which is under the hashtag Saving Wildlife Through Art program in Laos. And we had uh, the chief of mission come to visit and it was a formal art exhibition. I came away with being inspired by and wanting to make these animals as a new collection. The most recent one is the tiger, which is a 3D piece. I also created a sun bear, which is a special animal that's from Southeast Asia. It has a collar. There's a lot of poaching going on, especially in Cambodia and Laos. The new 3D designs of uh, my objective really is to make sure they stand up because for me it's like this cute little figurine that represents an animal that I love you know and as it turns out I'm making them into sculptures so I'm thinking sculpture when I'm making these tiny little charms I want them to be accurate but also playful so there's always going to be a slight smile on the little figurines face even if you look closely